Okay, guys, uh, how epic is this? Um, like, I've not played that many acoustic basses. Let me just mute this so I'm not making any rumbles in the background. I've never played that many acoustic basses. I've got one myself, and it's like a, like it's, it's more of an electric than an acoustic, but this is like a, a real acoustic. Obviously, it's a big jumbo body with a cutaway and the, the full shenanigans. Long story short, guys, is last week, we told you that we were giving away this Wayne's Jones amp, okay, uh, amp cab, um, which is uh, loads of you have already jumped on board. Just to spice things up a bit, we're going to throw this in the mix as well, so you can also win this. All you need to do if you're watching on YouTube is click the link below. It'll take you through to the competition page where you can enter, or if you're watching on scottsbasslessons.com, same thing. Click the link below, it'll take you through to the, uh, the competition page, and you can enter over there. But before you go and do that, I want to I want to talk a little bit about this bass. Um, I've got the the name up here because I think it's hilarious, and this is just a shout out to the guys at Court and anybody else that is making instruments with these silly names. Okay, I just want a name. This one, if anybody wants to search it online, is a Court S J B six F X N A T. I have problems remembering my wife's birthday. I'm just putting it out there, right? An SJB6FXNAT. Guys, you can do better. Give it a proper name. I don't know, what, what should we call it, Gav? Susan. The, Susan. I'm going for the court jumbo cutaway bass. How about that? Jumbo acoustic cutaway bass. Anyway, guys, it's just another example of how the, the, the more budget lines of basses these days and instrument makers are just spoiling us guys with amazing instruments. What a cracking instrument. It's like really uh, from, you know, a lot of you guys will watch, remember back in the day, you know, when you got a cheap bass and it really was a cheap bass. But these days the lines are really getting blurred because the, 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 the lower level um, in terms of price bracket basses, I think this is retail around... Uh, 500 quid over here in the UK, which would mean maybe like seven to seven fifty dollars. Um, obviously, exchange rates are just way out at the minute. But yeah, so I would say between seven and eight hundred dollars, maybe maybe cheaper. I don't know. Uh, but it's it's not you know it's not an insane amount of money, especially for a really beautiful instrument like this. It's got a solid spruce um, top on it. It's got rows of back and sides, mahogany neck. The machine head's really nice. The setup, I think that's the that's the key thing for me. Like the setup is a re is super nice. The balance is uh, uh, between the strings is really. super nice and just makes it easy for his bass players to make a great sound right um, there is a few what I wanted to talk in this video as well is just about how I've got the sound tailored for um, for the piezo because in my when you use piezos with with basses for me a lot of the time it's quite brittle so what I'll do is I'm going to just turn down a little bit um, I'm going to set show you how it would sound if you just plugged in and then I'll show you how I get the sound that you just heard okay so just I'll just tell you about this as well while I'm here while I'm pointing at it and we'll do a little cutaway of this as well uh, we've got like it's a Fishman EQ um, and it's a there's a, a piezo in here made by somebody else other than Fishman and if I really had my you know stuff together I'd remember the name but I haven't uh, but it sounds great and that's what me, really makes makes uh, makes the difference uh, but you've got a volume you've got a, a tuner on here you know the tuner it's okay like I like to see a bit of you know, when you're almost in tune, that kind of thing, but this is more you're out of tune and then you're in tune and then you're like flat or in tune or sharp. So the tuner could be a little bit more intuitive, but they've got the, the space of about, you know, a centimetre to fit it in. So I can, you know, I can see the limitation. So at least it's got a tune on there. It's also got bass, it's got treble, and it's got phase as well, which is cool because... <laughs> Up 
face sound, right? So, but this is how, so what I've done here is I've set everything flat on the amp and everything flat on here, okay? And it sounds like this. For me, I just wanted like, like a bit more mellowness about it. So what I did to get the tone that you heard at the beginning of the video, is I turned the treble all the way off on this EQ here. And for me, it was still too much. So then I went to the, the amp, turned it all the way off, all the treble. And then that, sound and then obviously just to add a bit more vibe that's the the official terminology for it I put the the the, the delay pedal on And, and that's how I got that tone. So, again, shout out for Court for sending us this to give away to you guys. Shout out for you guys for just you know supporting what we do and taking you know you know taking part in all these giveaways that we've been doing recently. And and just and shout out to all the instrument makers that are just making these great instruments like this because it is just making our lives as bass players a ton easy and not you know completely destroying our bank accounts at the same same time i absolutely wish that there was bases like this around when i was uh, when i was a kid or not a kid but you know in my early 20s i started when i was 18 or something like that so you know i was almost out of the kid era when i started playing bass but it would have been great to be able to get my hands on stuff like this uh, for sure when i started playing and uh, uh, and you can use acoustic bass in a ton of situations as well, just like, you know, folk stuff and country stuff and rootsy stuff. They're just really, really great for that music. Jazz stuff, obviously. Um, they're great for that music. And uh, and I think this this would be a real treat for any, any bass player that's wanting to do that kind of stuff. So again, if you want to take part in the competition, link is below, okay? Link is below. And, and that's if you're on Scott's Bass Essence or on YouTube as well. And yeah, and good luck. And we might be sending this as well. So, yeah, good luck. And as always, take it easy, and I'll see you in the shed. Bye.